morning. Good morning. Um, my name is Angela Flynn. And uh, just so people do know, the microwaves emitted by wireless smart meters, cordless phones, cell phones, Wi-Fi routers is classified as a class 2B carcinogen. People really should keep their distance from these devices, turn them off when they can. Um, and I'm speaking on a little related subject, but also very sad, which was the death of Steve Jobs. He, as we all know, died recently from pancreatic cancer. There was an article in the Washington Post that said that he tried many alternative therapies to treat his cancer, and he delayed surgery for the cancer because it was a relatively rare type that normally grows more slowly and is therefore more treatable. Well, he probably didn't do the most important thing he could have done, which would have been to remove himself from high electric magnetic fields and microwave exposure. In the book Cross Currents, Robert Becker, MD, wrote, at this time, the scientific evidence is absolutely conclusive that 50 to 60 magnetic fields cause human cancer cells to permanently increase their rate of growth by as much as 16, 1,600% and to develop more malignant characteristics. Dr. Becker studied the effects of EMF RF for over 20 years and implied the increase of cell growth from EMF to help heal bones. He documented that there was an increase in the incidence of cancers that are in tissues with continuous rates of cell division. These cancers are lymphoma, myeloma, melanoma, breast, testicular, pancreatic, kidney, and colon. All electronics have magnetic fields. Our wireless products also emit microwaves, which have been shown to be even more cancer-inducing, as they interfere with the recombining of DNA, leading to more double-strand breaks, disrupt the blood-brain barrier, inhibit the pineal, pineal gland's production of the essential anti-cancer endocrine melatonin, disrupt normal sleep patterns, induce ion exchange reactions, interfere with the influx and efflux mechanisms of neurons, increase the manufacture of chronic levels of heat shock proteins with repeated exposures, and result in inflammatory responses. Steve Jobs' belief that his wireless products could not hurt him, did not save him. Robert Kane was an engineer with Motorola, and he developed a brain tumor. He had no such belief system, and he wrote the book Cellular Telephone Russian Roulette, which chronicles the evidence to date regarding the toxic biological effects of EMF RF. He unsuccessfully sued Motorola, Motorola for the brain tumor, tumor, which later claimed his life. There's a recent study that just came out from Russia um, by the Academy of Sciences in Radiation Biology, Radiation Ecology. It shows serious cognitive declines in children Sorry, using, excuse me, I just want to finish reading this sentence. It shows serious cognitive declines in children using cellular communications Sorry. in a four-year study. Thank you. There's more than just cancer going on here. We're dumbing down our population by our exposure to wireless. Thank you. Good morning.